I'll say to you, if you're close-minded about cardigans, get this pattern, okay? It will change your mind. And not only that, it will open up a whole new world. Hey, 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 it's Terry, Virginia's daughter, and I am back today to talk about Simplicity 9716. I don't own any cardigans. I don't, it's not a piece of clothing that I have just like been drawn to. And I know now that that had everything to do with the fabric. I don't like cardigans that are made from real thin, very lightweight, almost sheer kind of fabric. I think it was the waterfall cardigan that I dislike so much. And for some reason, every time I think of cardigans, that's the one that pops into my mind, which is shame on me really, because first of all, the waterfall cardigan has come a long way. I mean, <laughs> I've seen some really cute ones lately and who knows, I might even make one of those. Secondly, there, I mean, there's so many types of cardigans. So I'm, I'm glad that I opened my mind to this idea of cardigans. If you're closed minded about cardigans, get this pattern, okay? I did a mini pattern haul sometime at the end of last year, I think it was. I can't, I can't remember when it was, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you know what I got. So uh, stick around if you wanna see what I got on that mini haul. It, it's not enough to really do a separate video, but I'll show you in this video. It was at that time that I purchased this pattern. This is a 2023 pattern. It's a Mrs. Knit Top cardigan and skirt. It ranges in size from four through 20. There are five pieces to the pattern and four if you opt out of the pockets. There's a front, a back, a sleeve, a band, and pockets. Now, I made the longer one first and I added the pockets. The shorter one, I did not add the pockets just because of the weight of the fabric. I felt like the pockets would have been too much for the shorter version, especially since that fabric is lighter than the longer version. They're almost too much for the longer version, to be honest with you, but once I had them in, I wasn't gonna take them out. Looking at view A of the pattern, I'm almost sure that eventually I will make this top you just can't go wrong with a top like that, right? And I think, let me see, I'm looking at the pattern here. For the smallest size, which is the size four, you would need seven eighths of a yard of fabric. And for the largest size, which is the size 20, you would need a yard. This would be the perfect one yard wonder uh, project. The skirt, on the other hand, I don't know that I care for that skirt. And I think it has a lot to do with the length or way the model has it styled. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I'll make this skirt, but you never know. <laughs> right? So if I change my mind, I'll let you know. It's a very easy project to make. I mean, you could probably make this project in a day, maybe even some hours, depending on, you know, what kind of time you have to put into it in one day. For the longer version, that's viewed C. I got that fabric from Hobby Lobby not too long ago, actually, um, on clearance. I did a fabric haul video when I purchased that fabric, so it's featured in that video. And I really like it. It has a, it has a ribbing to it, but it's not ribbed enough to be like a, like a ribbed knit trim, like you would see on a bomber jacket or something like that. I think it's too lightweight for that. It doesn't have enough sturdiness to it. It's not as structured. I don't think. I, I don't think I would like to use it for that, but it's, it is a nice fabric. And then the silver and black fabric or the gray and black stripe fabric is a sweater knit fabric with this gold metallic thread going through it. I really like this fabric. I bought a ton of it too. I got this at Joanne Fabrics on clearance um, many, many years ago, and it is very lightweight. lightweight. It is even almost sheer somewhat. I mean, you know, if you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see through it. Now, this is one of the patterns that I completed as part of that. I had mentioned in my last video that I had taken the time in October to cut out like nine projects. <laughs> this is one of the patterns that I cut out when I was on that cutting spree. And let me take this opportunity to make a minor correction. So when I said I didn't own any cardigans, uh, there were no cardigans in my wardrobe, I would say this type of cardigan. Now, you know, a classic cardigan. It looks like a sweater. I have plenty of those. But, you know, these longer cardigans, these long line cardigans, um, duster type cardigans, I, I don't have any of those. And so I'm glad I was able to add these to my wardrobe. 
Cardigans can even be luxurious. You get some nice, nice, lush, luxurious fabric to make a cardigan out of. There you have your luxurious cardigan. Fabric is everything. But we knew that. <laughs> we already knew that. And if you don't know how to sew and had to buy one in the store, I imagine that that would have a hefty price tag. So there you go. You, you need to get to sewing. Start sewing. Get sewing. The point is though, I would say that they are very versatile and I'm looking forward to experimenting with this type of garment. I just love it when a plan comes together, don't you? This long cardigan and this top looks exactly the way I planned it. I wanted to make a, a turtleneck uh, type top to go with this cardigan. And so McCall 7839 is a pattern that is also featured in a pattern haul that I've done. And I was like, this is so cute. This is so easy. I mean, this, this, I thought I had this pattern, but I didn't. I think I was short on fabric because there's a seam, a center front seam in both of them or one of them i can't remember i'll take a closer look here in a second maybe even a center back seam i only that only usually happens if i am um, short on fabric so what i'm saying is the front and back should be cut on the fold well i did what i had to do but these tops are so easy i mean you know you got a front a back cut on the fold you got the sleeves there's a hooded version there's a mock turtleneck neckline variations and sleeve and hem variations as well you can do some contrasting i know that i'm going to be making this pattern again i actually have my eye on view a The second fabric that you see is kind of novelty print i got when i traveled to hartford connecticut um last summer and oh, what was the name of that fabric store um uh, yes i love how that looks i love how it turned out so i picked up five simplicity patterns this was when I was in Indiana visiting family at some point last year. And so of course I got Simplicity 9716, which is featured in this video. I got Simplicity 9374, which is a Mrs. Knit Vest pattern. And I, I don't know, that kind of looks like a cardigan to me too, especially the one that she's wearing, but you know, cardigan, vest, I don't know, maybe if it was cropped or something. I, I think, could you call that a cardigan? I see why it's considered a vest, but I think it could also be a cardigan. And then I have Simplicity 9747. I've already got the fabric that I'm gonna make this out of. I have made something similar to this before. It was in my unfinished projects, but I messed it up. <laughs> it was a hot mess. I, I can't even tell you where it is. It is uh, Mrs. Dusters, and this pattern ranges in sizes from eight to 26. It is a 2023 pattern, and yeah, I like it. Next up is Simplicity 9690, and I have made this pattern. Oh my goodness, I love it. You're gonna see this featured in my, an upcoming video. It is a Mrs. Top and Pull On Pants. This pattern is 2022 release, and it ranges in sizes from eight to 26. I got Simplicity 9608, which is this pants pattern. I love every version of this, the skirt, the pants, although A and B, what? Oh, the length is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, ranges in sizes from 4 to 22. And this is a 2022 release also. And next to the last is Simplicity 9785. This is an easy to sew pants pattern. It was released in 2023. And it ranges in sizes from 8 to 26. Just so cute. And last but not least, we have Simplicity 988. This is a 2023 release pattern. It is unisex sweatshirt and pants. It ranges in sizes from extra small to extra extra large. And I really like this pattern. I like the fabric that it's also made out of, but I didn't, I opted not, not to use that type of fabric. I do have this cut out. I've not actually started this one yet, and I'm hoping that I can get to it within the next week or so. So let's see. If you have hung in there until this portion of the video, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Dang, we covered quite a bit, didn't we? But I just didn't think everything in here would be, you know, enough for 
its own video, maybe a short. <laughs> okay, so I need to start doing shorts. Okay, if anybody has any advice on doing those shorts, YouTube shorts, um, let me know. But yes, thanks for joining me today. As always, feel free to leave a comment. If you have any of these patterns, have you made any of them? Have you been inspired to go out and purchase any of them? <laughs> let me know either way. Uh, as always, I thank you for joining me. Thanks for stopping by today. And until next time, take care.